What happens to Goku at the end of Dragon Ball GT? Well, after Goku defeats Omega Shenron with the Universal Spirit Bomb, aka the Genki Dama, Shenron appears and pretty much tells them that they've been, you know, using the Dragon Balls to, you know, solve all their problems. And pretty much Goku makes a promise that the people of Earth will pretty much be the ones that handle their problems from there on. And that the Dragon Balls end up absorbing into Goku's body as he gets on the back of Shenron and they end up leaving. And throughout this time, people are also kept on like, you know, all the Z fighters, every time they see Goku, they're wondering like, you know, like what, like what is Goku, you know? And like, you know, everybody's kind of shocked and there's like, people are applying like, you know, in a form Goku is not his regular self at this point. So it's always been an interpretation of saying, is Goku dead, you know, or is he alive? And we're gonna get into the theory of what happened to Goku. So as we look through statements inside the show, there's a lot of statements that's implying leading to a certain, you know, direction. My theory is that Goku becomes some type of spiritual being, which is almost like godly at this point. I don't think Goku is dead per se because he did supposed to die when Omega Shinron, you know, threw the giant energy beam at the planet to try to blow it up and Goku stepped into the way to try to stop it. And it was implied that, you know, he killed Goku. But Goku stating that, you know, before he go, he wants to, you know, he need, he asks everyone for their energy to create a spirit bomb. And at this point, Goku ends up rising after Vegeta tries to, like, you know, hold back Omega Shinron. And this is where things get interesting. Because now, Goku rises and Omega Shinron is blasting him and nothing is harming Goku at this point. Goku is pretty much tanking all of his attacks and pretty much continues to gather energy to make the spear bomb. And, and now, there's a lot of different, you know questions around this moment of like what happened you know what's going on here is Goku pretty much using the Genki energy that he's receiving from everybody to make him you know power himself up to tank all the hits from Omega Shenron or is it something else and I think it's something else at this point because we have seen in the past Goku try to create the Genki Dama and against different fighters and he's still being harmed as the same thing his battle with Frieza or his battle against you know Vegeta there are all these points where it's this this fight is different when Goku is gathering the Genki Dama he's um, taking all the hits at this point and something is going on so now as we go on to statements you know Pan does say a statement of asking Goku is he a god and so when you see Goku you know creating the Genki Dama and that's kind of like you know that's already like a slight little you know sign there because at this point you know Vegeta's asking Goku to grant him power so it's like all this stuff is kind of like foreshadowing Goku becoming like this godly type of being and it's like a little foreshadows going on and after the fact after Goku defeats Omega Shenron and he ends up you know leaving with him and Vegeta's kind of like noticing that Goku's gonna go on and learn to go train First, and he you know, just like you know, figure it out, you know. And Goku's telling you know, Vegeta to keep it quiet. It kind of implies more that Goku most likely left into the the realm of wherever Shinron is, and pretty much at this point, as we look on from all the time that we see Goku appearing, and what Goku's saying that you know, he's gonna pretty much assist the world on rebuilding everything without the Dragon Balls. And there's different other clues to this because Goku states many times in uh, before he leaves with Shenron that you know he keeps saying that he's alive. He said the same thing with Piccolo when he says Piccolo he couldn't repay Piccolo and he's gonna make sure he do everything in his power, you know, to to kind of like try to repay Piccolo while he's alive. So in some sense. Goku is implying that he's not dead and he states this as well you know a couple more times and Goku is pretty much implying that he's alive so 
to me that kind of rules out that Goku is dead but Goku is not in his regular form at this point so in some form Goku's still alive but I think he was promoted into like some type of you know guardian of earth almost like a Kami but not in the same sense as what Dende or Kami was before now Goku is like protecting everything you know with more power and was granted I think that Shinron granted him probably more like I won't say it's it, it's a uh, Goku has ended up becoming like the dragon god before we got you know the, everything about Zalama creating the super dragon ball I think that at this time frame Goku is pretty much like a sense like pretty much the god of the dragon ball I think and it's not saying he's only the one for earth or maybe maybe all dragon balls at this point which could be the ones the Namekian dragon balls and others at this point where Goku is probably granted to like go into their realm and become the god of the dragon balls at this point and become that guardian and watch over and pretty much by him giving everything to save the universe he was granted like these special you know kind of like a special promotion at this point so at this point it's kind of implying there's a lot of implications that's showing that Goku has become something more and he's just not like you know everybody's kind of wondering like what is he because at this point Goku is not just you know in his human form at this point so as we continue on you know um Goku makes a couple appearances at the end to see his great grandson Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. fight in the tournament as we last seen him and Pan is seeing him and then he disappears and you see Goku walking through the crowd at the tournament and pretty much you know flying up and then Goku also makes another appearance to speak to Goku Jr. in the special The Hero's Legacy and we we get to see him you know pretty much kind of do the same thing as he appears and disappears again and like I said at this point he's an adult now at this point and there's a lot of more clues and stuff that's showing like this from like reading the statements out of like what Goku has become we don't know exactly everything even the creators of the show that worked on it because there was an interview from from one of the creators of the show talking about the end and pretty much them leaving everything to like the interpretation of like is Goku dead or is he alive and kind of just like wanted to leave them in this form where people it's almost like a sense like I said in your spiritual form you probably won't be considered as alive but at the same time Goku is not dead even though he could have possibly died too at the same time so it's like and Goku saying he's alive at the same time which I think he may be alive in a different kind of way so everything was purposely done this way so Goku could be this you know immortal being in a sense because the whole point of the ending of GT was to you know give Goku his thanks at the end of all the stuff he contributed to the world because at the end of the day, he's pretty much selfless and pretty much sacrificing himself to protect Earth and by him doing that I guess he was granted and he said and they also said a statement of you know Goku staying telling Shinron like you know them working together so at this point it's like they took on Goku and pretty much I think they promoted him and probably granted him more power in making him a type of deity that's like you know watching over the earth and the universe and the Dragon Ball and pretty much just seeing who's worthy to avoid any of that you know disaster again happening with Omega Shinron and the Dragon Balls again so and Goku pretty much took the responsibilities and pretty much in a sense there's a lot of like you know religious standpoint to this and everything with the whole thing of like just everything with Goku's character and him sacrificing himself and pretty much you know dying and rising again and everything like that in just some type of different type of way and pretty much making Goku this you know iconic being at this point and that's pretty much you know my take on what the end of GT was and what happened to Goku 
and pretty much at this point like i said i think goku how we see in dragon ball super you know them getting these god transformations i feel like this is probably the closest to having goku be a god in a sense that we have gotten really in, in, in the entire series so it's kind of like you know they, it doesn't give you explicit details because they wanted it to be that way for you to be interpreting that but if goku was just dead i don't think he'll be able to be doing all the stuff that he was doing so it was, it's something more to it and it's more leading in that realm because at the end of the day everything was being hinted with pan stating if goku a god and vegeta even asking like you know goku to grant him power and stuff to defeat you know omega shenron so that's it for this video drop a like tell us in the comments of what you guys think what happened to goku in the end of dragon ball gt and do you guys think he was dead he was dead do you think he became a god do you think he's just like a spirit with you know do you feel like he's just alive or you know give us your thoughts on what you think happened to goku and gt at the end and we'll be back with another video and hit the notification bell so you could be up to date with all our latest videos and i'm out